Oh. Another day. Good morning. Back to wearing jumpers or sweaters. It's that cold. We all know that the atomic bomb exploded. But to make an atomic bomb explode is almost impossible. And there are two basic flaws in the concept of how an atomic weapon would actually work. Both of those enormous problems were solved in the United Kingdom. Hey, welcome back. Atomic bombs explode because we understand how atoms work. Albert Einstein came up with the brilliant but esoteric equation E equals MC squared with the concept, the thought experiment, that if you could liberate the energy of matter, it would produce vast amounts of power, maybe for good. But maybe it could be weaponized. Of course, weaponization was what they wanted to do. So clever buddies, mainly in the United States, looked at what elements would release that amount of energy to make a bomb. Well, it's actually really hard. But they came up with the concept of fission or even chain reactions. That's where one atom decays, releases a particle which crashes into another and forms a chain reaction to liberate that amount of energy. It didn't work. Albert Einstein knew that it was bollocks. He advised governments that the concept of the chain reaction being self-perpetuating wouldn't work. Why, you might ask, because it did work in the end because there aren't enough neutrons. It's neutrons that fly out of a decaying atom, hit others. But for that to work, it's no good making one neutron and then hitting another one and it making one neutron. The chain reaction would be too slow. And the word fizzle was used. It's such a great 1930s word. I love it. But this man, James Chadwick, at the Cavendish Lab in Cambridge, got to the bottom of the neutron. First of all, he understood what a neutron was, that atoms do contain neutrons, and that you could produce a chain reaction if you had enough of neutrons. So in the war-rich United States, the idea of building an atomic weapon, the Manhattan Project, came about. And the best neutron provider was uranium. But uranium comes in a pretty stable form, with not enough neutrons. That's why why I'm calling it stable. To produce a less stable uranium, you had to process it. And these massive buildings and plants were built to produce enough uranium to build a single atomic... Oh, it was never going to happen. Halfway through the Manhattan Project, it was cancelled because there wasn't going to be enough enriched uranium to make a bomb. So a man in California came up with a new element. Literally, he made it and he called it plutonium. Plutonium produces far more neutrons, the Chadwick British discovery. So it was going to be the explosive element of choice, but it also doesn't work. The idea of the uranium bomb is pretty simple. You crash two bits of uranium into each other in a gun and when they become a critical mass, kaboom, they explode. But there isn't enough uranium. So they produce this exotic element called plutonium. It's hot. Actually, this is aluminium <laughs> and something from Ikea. So they just swapped the Manhattan Project for this plutonium stuff because it was easier to make and actually produces more neutrons. Jolly good. But there's a massive problem. It's so radioactive, it produces so many neutrons that at a distance, it starts going off long before it's going to make a big bomb. So what I'm going to tell you now is really secret. A small engineering company in Lancashire called Tube Alloys, all they were going to make is bits of tubes. No, they weren't. What they did is solve the Manhattan Project. In this shed, 
in Lancashire, that was called Tube Alloys, which was just a made up name to make it sound like a small engineering company. They got lumps of this new stuff called plutonium and dropped them down, ironically, tubes. <whistles> Poof. Why? To see how fast and how near to another bit of plutonium it would stop fizzling and produce a big bang. And they solved it in a shed in Lancashire. And some help from the Canadians, because it was a Canadian-British project. That data was given back to Los Alamos, to the Manhattan Project, and they came up with the idea, which was also really hard to make work, of an implosion bomb. You can't bring two bits of plutonium together fast enough because it will fizzle before it goes bang. The only way for it to work is to crush it uh, very fast into a critical mass and then it goes kaboom, ow, and explodes. I hope you found that interesting. Two things that Britain did to make the bomb explode. Now, I'm a filmmaker a science researcher. I don't work at Los Alamos. I don't actually work at the Cavendish Lab or Aldermaston. So if you know more about tube alloys and neutrons, let me know in the comments below and I'll do another film. Because of you, the truth is out there.